Hey people, how's it going man? I know it's just been a long wait, you know. It took four months for the gym to open again. I know everyone's anticipating, oh, it's opening in the July. No, it's August. No, it's gonna be October, you know. <laughs> no one was sure when the gym was gonna open. So, you know, it was a long wait, man. But you know, finally, you know, the end of July, was it the 25th, was it? Yeah, the gym's reopened. So I think, yeah, this weekend will be two weeks now. So, you know, I was just taking my time. I thought, well, you know, I've had that long off. There's no need to rush back. You know, I just want to see if the coronavirus had, you know, um, you know, to see if there was a second wave. So that's why I was just taking my time going back to the gym. But seems like it's kind of all right now. And I'm thinking, well, you know, you can't wait forever, can you? So I'm going to go back to the gym on Monday, you know, because, um, yeah, I need to get back to the gym, you know. Get back into building that muscle, you know, look like a Hulk again. You know, I missed that, man. I missed my gains, you know. I wasn't really, obviously, this, no, this summer wasn't really a summer. I just didn't feel the same. I didn't want to wear vests and tank tops and, you know, there's nothing to show really, you know. I'm just used to it, innit? So me just coming out in the vest, it just seemed like I'd seemed flat. Like my arms have just shrunk like half the size that they normally are. So, you know, I just didn't feel good in it, you know what I mean? different to um you know if I was just an average guy and I'm just used to having just an ordinary physique you know it's different then you know I'll come out like that but you know just people won't understand what I'm talking about but obviously you guys who have been big and who have lost size you know what I'm talking about you know how it feels but a few things I need to change in my routine I realized I was overtraining. I was trying to fit everything in when normally you know, there's a few exercises I leave out until maybe if I'm cutting or something, but I'll say, no, I need this. I need these, these small exercises. I need this little bit of upper back, a um, little bit of sweep on the quads and that. Now I'm just thinking, you know what? It's just too much. Fuck all that. Go back to less is more, you know? So now I used to do three exercises for biceps. I'm going to now do two. I was doing five exercises for back. I'm now going to do four. And I was doing some extras, you know, like um, the abductors and abductors, but I'm going to leave that out because it's just too much, man. You know, it's overtraining me. I just feel I felt tired all the time. I, I'm not even going to lie. I wasn't enjoying training because I was just doing too much. You know, I might have been putting on a brave face, you know, see me ah, yeah, smiling and all that, but I was knackered. You know, some of my workouts was like two and a half hours, two hours and 45 minutes. Oh, it's just too much, man. So now I've had this break, I've assessed my training now. Now I realise I was doing too much and now I've got to cut back. It doesn't matter about, oh, I need this standing out, I need that standing out, you know, fuck all that. You know, I need my energy, you know, I need to work as well, you know what I mean? It's different if I was being paid and uh, I'm, all I'm doing is training and earning money. That's different, man. But, you know, you, you, need, to do, you need a bit of energy to do other stuff in it. So, you know, I think a few things are going to cut down, so I might workouts now should be like between an hour and a half and two hours which I can I can I can I can deal with that but like when it's going on two and a half hours like almost three hours it's just too long you know so that's what I'm saying less is more I always used to practice that but I don't know what happened I just got caught up in what everyone else is doing like two two presses for shoulders and all that you know they do barbell and then they'll go on and do dumbbell. And then sometimes they'll go and do a machine press. So they're doing about three, three pressing movements of shoulders. And I'm like, you ain't going to grow like that. Now I'm going back to one press. And I was better when I did that. One pressing movement. And I'm actually at my best when I eat five meals a day, actually. You know what I mean? When I eat six meals, I might be a little bit bigger. But it's not that much. You know, I start getting a bit of a stomach bulge, a bit of it. You know what I mean? I don't like that. You know, I like to keep my stomach flat, you know, so I can do that, man. Just eat, you know, just train heavy as I normally do. And sometimes I'll eat the six meals like when I'm cutting because some, sometimes, you know, you're adding in extra exercises or you're doing, you know, not more volume because I don't do all that. I train heavy same way. If I'm doing six reps to bulk, I'm doing six reps when I cut. But, you know, you're doing extra work like cardio. You're doing extra like isolation exercises, you know, like maybe lunges. And like maybe one arm curls and things like that. And, you know, just small exercises, a bit more cable work. So if you're burning more, you know, you've got to eat more then, then I 
then some of those days I'll eat six meals. But I'm actually at my best when I eat five meals. Two meals before training, if I'm training in the day, and then three meals after that. If I'm training in the evening, I'll eat the four meals, and then I've got training, and then I've got one more meal when I get home. And then I fucking go to bed like three, four in the morning. Because obviously I need to eat, and then I, you know, I have a bath, and then I need, the food needs to digest. Can't go straight to sleep, so you know what I mean? But yeah, I'm glad, man. I hope everyone's, you know, focused. Everyone's back in the gym, trying to get back to where they were. You know, it's important, man. You know, we just want to see great bodies, don't we? Men and women, you know. So I hope everyone's getting back on track, man. But I'm going to leave it all here now. You know, hard work pays. Fitness after 40, you know, just get on it, man. Get back to training, get back to where you were. All right, man. Guys, take it easy.